What's up, y'all? Toast and Teddy once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Deserted Zombie Survival. This will be episode two of my mini series called um, Nerfed Survivor, which I started with my uh, Herschel here and Survive the Dead. That's the mission he's on. Or the map he's on, I should say, not mission. But yeah, I don't know, um, if you didn't see the first episode, it'll be part of the playlist, you can go back and watch, but I explained that I'm going to limit myself in terms of weapons, like I'll only use the original axe, not the fire axe, I'll use a baseball bat if it's there, I'll use a machete, you know, stuff like that. I might actually just limit myself to the baseball bat, and, well, maybe the machete, because I have a machete already, but yeah, um... That shotgun there, the Winchester, and the double barrel are the only shotguns or anything other than the original pistol that I'll let myself use for a, for a gun. So, I don't know, it'll kind of make it a little bit more interesting. But, however, I did level up in the meantime. Cause I was trying to search around for a Winchester I could use, but I had to kill a few and it leveled me up. But anyway, um... Go ahead and do hunger and thirst again. And might as well give one more strength. Okay. Hunger and thirst is always good because then it goes down extra slow. And strength is always good because then it in increases your melee. You know. And I don't think having 10 strength lets you kill things with your fists. It still stops them when you punch them, but that's it. It doesn't kill them, I don't think, because I've I punched a zombie about 18 times with my fist, and it, it just kept stopping for a second and then coming after me some more. So I doubt your fists are able to kill them. But, yeah. Okay, so there's some. Wait, was that a vehicle? Whoa. Wait, am I on the original map? I think I might be. I don't have a map yet. That's another thing I found, that if you find a map and pick it up, that map changes, like what it actually looks like, changes uh, according to what map you're playing on. So you don't have to find a map for each different map. You know what I mean? Whoa. Luckily for me, there's a... Oh, well, that guy's probably going to kill me. I don't see that coming. I should have, but I didn't. Because I'm dumb. Yes. Let's do health regen. No, here. Do one. And that. One, two, three. Okay. There we go. So I got five on thirst, five on hunger, and five on strength. And you know I'm picking up every bandage I see. <laughs> see, I'm trying to play this one legit to where if, even if I accidentally dupe an item or something like that, like I did originally when I first found out how to dupe stuff, if I do that accidentally somehow, then I'll just like take the one that I duped from my box and put it and like drop it, you know what I mean? Put it in inventory and then just go to drop. Drag it off your inventory and it falls away. I wonder if I should get the axe or keep the machete. I think the machete is a little better. But yeah, I must be in the original map. Because there's no way a vehicle just spawn randomly on the street if it's not the original map. It's got to be. Draw distance still all the way up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's another way to tell. Turn the grass on here. Now let's see if the grass moves. If this is the original map, the grass won't move. Yep, nice. Yeah, this has got to be the original. Okay. I was going to say, I couldn't remember if I started one on the original or not. <laughs> but apparently I did. 
So yeah, now I have two maps on the original map just because the other map doesn't have any um, vehicles or animals for that matter. Not that animals are a big deal, but stop. I want one of them to drop a backpack. I'm surprised they haven't yet. That's nuts. That's pretty common that they drop backpacks, so I don't know what's going on. But here, I do need to go ahead and drink that. I got something to eat right now. Okay, apple. Eat two of those just to fill up. Okay. Hi. Yeah, there's a backpack. At least it's a backpack. I don't really care about the color. <laughs> okay. Now I should be set. I kind of want to get a black one or a gray one or whatever they're called. I think they're black. See, like that Uzi, I'm not going to pick up. I'm not going to pick up anything that's uh, fully automatic or anything other than the pistol, pistol clips, or magazines. Um or any of the original three shotguns. The Benelli does not count simply because it's kind of overpowered with 50 shots. And in this scenario, I want to make it, I don't know, as difficult on myself as I can, I guess. So, yeah. That's, that's like another reason I'm not really going to make a base. I'm just going to keep roaming around place to place. But that's another reason I use this map, just so I could roam around with a car and not have to run everywhere. <laughs> but once you upgrade your stamina, you can run for quite a while. Like my Toasted Ted character, I can't remember if I have to stamina or not. I think I did. But he can run for a long time, it feels like now. Is that another pistol? Yeah. I already got one. Pump shotgun, I already got one. Oh, yeah. I knew I got too close. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it should put me in a random spot. Oh, wow. Not too far from where I was, I guess. Still in the same town. Yeah, the yeah, see? The grass does not move on the original map which is awesome. I mean, that's the way it should be. And I turned my draw distance all the way up, so it, you should get as big a picture of everything in the thing as you can. I mean, the draw distance all the way up, it'll spawn way over into the horizon. So it's like it's almost hard to see an area that you can't already see. You know what I mean? Like it won't just like pop up because it's hard to see them. They're that far away. Eh, I'll check that. I was going to skip that police station, but I better check it for the Winchester. That's the gun I want to get. That's the shotgun I want to have, not the, not the pump and not the um, other. Just because the Winchester holds six shots instead of just four or whatever the sawed-off holds. I forgot. Or double barrel, I should say. Another pistol. Man, I really want to get that Winchester. There's some shotgun ammo I'll have to pick up. Rifle magazine. No, thank you. If I see a light attachment, I'll get it. And if I see... Ooh, pistol magazine. Here we go. I'm going to say pistol magazine and shotgun ammo I'll pick up. And pistol bullets. Like the red, the red box of pistol bullets. I'll get those too. But there's a there's like a mistake in that also because um, if you have a box of bullets and you go to your craft and you build a clip, here watch I'll show you right here. Okay, I have one clip right there, already full. One clip in the gun that's full, and no empties. But I can go here, craft a clip, and go back to here. 
and all it did was take away the ammo and it didn't give me another clip or nothing you know so that's a that's a little glitch you could fix to where when you go to this crafting menu you can't make that unless you have an empty to fill or something no matter if you have the bullets or not that makes sense in my opinion i don't know i'm sure some other people might agree but we'll see <laughs> Oh, wow, I didn't even notice the volume was so low. Jeez, the volume's been that low the whole time. I didn't even notice. Wow. <laughs> Let me check here for the Winchester right quick. Oh, come on there. Like I said, doing that doesn't give you any experience, but it does clear them out quick. <laughs> you know, if you're in a hurry looking for something, you just want to get in there and look and get out. Not a bad way to do it. Oh. Ooh, med kit. Nice. I like it. Uh oh. Go away, Ed. I want to get the Winchester because it's the one shotgun I've seen where one bullet sometimes just puts them down instead of kills them. You know what I mean? Like sometimes the Winchester just shoots them and they fall down and they get back up. But almost every other shotgun that I've ever used kills them in one shot no matter what. But um, this episode is getting a little long, so I'm probably going to go ahead and end it here on this bridge. Good stopping point, I guess. No enemies near, and no enemies behind me, and all that. So, anyway, um, if you like the video, give it a like, leave your comments down below, and stay tuned for more. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out. <laughs>